All right, here we go. Let's take off on crude oil here. We got two shorts that happened here this morning so far. Actually, three shorts, I'm sorry. We've had two retracement trades and one momentum trade so far. Momentum trades are off this small uh, Rinko uh, chart over here with the arrow. These arrows over here, that's the, this chart over here is our momentum entry with the arrows, arrow fired right here off the three. So let's go over the, the whole concept of what we try to do in the methodology. The most important chart you're going to look at is the, mo I mean, the trend chart. This is our trend chart. The beautiful thing about the trend chart it, is it keeps you on the right side of the market. Traders tend to fail because they do what? They counter trend trade the trend. They use oscillators, which are worthless for trend. So we have to look at a trend chart to give us the overall trend of the market. Okay, and that's one way we use it. I don't like moving averages for crossover systems or entries or support or resistance. I do like to use them for trend direction. I don't like to use minute charts or share charts or tick charts because they give a misconception of trend and give you false signals where what I did is I built a trend filter built into this long Rinko bar. The beautiful thing about this chart, the reason it's our most important chart, it tells you of two important trades that happen on a daily basis on any given market. It doesn't matter if you trade futures, stocks, currency, or Forex. This chart will tell you when wrongly positioned traders are getting in the market, or counter trend traders, and we need to jump in and get the opposite side of those guys and gals. Good morning, Steve. So let's go over the retracement trade first. Now, these are the three main charts you're going to use. We do have market profile on here, which gave us uh, resistance on this last short, on this last retracement short, but that's for confluence. These are the three main charts you're going to enter off of on a daily basis or use as a, a tool to use to find trade setups on any given market, any given day. The most important chart is the far left. Next to the trend chart, I have my Fib arrows. These arrows fire off in Fibonacci areas, sweet spots in the market that the market should roll over to the exact bar. But we don't look at those charts until our trend chart sets it up. We want this trend chart to set us up. There's two trades that you're going to have to learn in the methodology with my system. The beauty of this system is that it has a trend filter built in. If you can get the trend correct, you're 50% there on getting the trade in the right direction. This will tell you if you're in a chop market also, which is very important like gold is right now. So we know that we have three MAs on here. MAs are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. The most important part of the trend filter is this. I have a very small MA, that thin dashed white line. If the body of the candle closes, 90% candle close below that small MA on my trend filter, then you have a downtrend. The downtrend started right here this morning. We've been in downtrend since 420 this morning in crude. If you took any longs on crude this morning, after 420, you are going against the market. You are a counter trend trader, and you deserve to get stopped out because the push is down. The push is not up. We are pushing down. We are not pushing up. This is the importance of getting the trend correct. A lot of traders fail because they try to catch the bottom and sell the top. We don't, we don't educate that way. We try to sell low, buy lower, buy high, sell higher. That's a professional way to look at things and how a lot of these algorithms can outperform and outdo a lot of retail traders. A lot of retail traders try to buy low, sell high. Well, you really can't, you don't know if it's going to stop at the low bottom and stop at the top. What we do is we have lower highs and higher lows to confirm that the market is in a trend. That's part of the trend filter that's built in. It looks at the market's lower highs and higher lows and puts it on one Renko bar for us. And it looks at that as the dynamics of the market change rapidly, it will give you a nice trend of the market. So 90% candle close. Started right here. Started right there at 420 this uh, this morning. 
It's now 8, what, 20 this morning, and we've been in a downtrend for four hours. So we've only had shorts. So now that we know the trend, we, uh, um, we know that we're down. The only way the trend could possibly change is if I get above all three MAs, I cross back up, and I start moving back up. Now, you will have a counter trend trade if I get a whole body candle close above my small MA, and we get above my sim dots, you possibly have a counter to move back up. But that happens only around 15, 20% of the trading that we do in the room. Mainly, we're look, looking for trend retracements. How do we get in then? How do we look to get in with small stops for possible uh, a high reward to risk trades? The two trades I have, one is called a retracement trade. The trend chart retracement trade is very easy to spot because if I'm below my small MA, and I'm, uh, the best part is if you're, if you're below all three MAs, this is the hottest part of the market right here. Ever since 550 or 450 this morning, you've had hard selling in the market. You're below all three MAs. The body of the candle is the most important. Amateur traders or novice traders think the wicks are important, the highs and lows of the bar. They are incorrect. The most important part of the bar is the open versus close. That tells you order flow. The open versus close, I have it programmed to give you a body or candle of the Renko bar, the trend bar. The Renko bar, as long as the body of the candle is closing below the small MA, the wicks can break it inch your bar. It doesn't matter. We still have a sell setup. Here's the most important thing. I have two trades I keep talking about that we look for. One is a retracement trade. How do we get in a retracement trade? The easy way to spot a retracement trade, if we're all red bars, red bar, red bar, red bar, and I get a green bar that pops up, if a green candle pops up, I know that we have counter trend traders coming in the market or what we call wrongly positioned traders. As soon as that green bar pops up, I have an active trade possibly coming up. Since I have an active trade possibly coming up, I'm going to look for the first retracement on this next uh, bar over next to me called the SIM bar. This SIM dot bar are the, uh, fit, the, I have fib arrows, red fib arrows, and these little red dot resistance, blue dot support. If I'm in a downtrend, I don't care about the blue dots. I really focus on the red dots. The red dots are called my symmetry dots. What they do is they look at the symmetry of the market. They look at lower highs in the market and higher lows in the market. What does that mean? What it means is, is that I'm trying to catch a retracement and a downtrend, and I try to use this. Uh, if I get an opposite color bar on my trend chart over here, I really look at these red dots. That's the only time. Now, I do not use these dots by themselves. They do not work. They're a secondary, or I call it a secondary or third indicator. But I use them only when the trend chart sets it up because I got all the ingredients put on this one trend chart. You learn how to trade this trend chart, you are almost there in trading any given market any given day because it lets you know when to get in. It lets you know right here that counter trend traders start coming in the market since the opposite color green bar came in. I want to position myself to go short now. What I'll do is I will look for and I'll try to find, in fact, let's go up to this one up here. The SIM dot stopped the market in its tracks up here. Why? Had the counter trend traders pumping it up, caught the swing high at 52.50 up there. Move my SIM dots down here. It's got to come within two ticks. Caught the high here when the wrongly positioned traders got in. And now I just caught the high on another trade here with a Fibonacci dot, uh, arrow short on this level within one tick of my SIM dots. This came within one tick. You have to come in within one minimum Two ticks of my SIM dots, they're that accurate. They're very, very accurate on any given market. If they come within two ticks, it can exceed an inch or bar and stuff a sell, but I do not want to close a whole body candle close above my SIM dots before I get the arrow. Okay, it will not be a trade then because this shows market weakness. So on the first trade, if you notice, on the first trade here this morning, I got green bars showing counter trend traders coming in. That's a retracement trade. So as the market is turning green bars, going back up, I want to study my chart next to it. Where's my SIM dots? Get ready. When they come in two ticks of my SIM dots, I want to look to get in the market short. If I get a Fibonacci arrow short, then you can place, place your stop. Three ticks, two or three ticks above the swing high, you're good to go. The next trade, which was a retracement trade, the counter trend traders came in again. 
They came in down here just shortly, a little while ago. You had a green bar that printed. Once that green bar prints, I want to study and, and look at my what? Where's my SIM dot bar? I mean my SIM dots. Where are they at so I can get short the market? Right when I come within minimum two ticks of them, I want to look for a Fib Arrow. Fib Arrow fires off. There's another short. So we've, we've had two shorts based upon retracement trades. Retracement trade here off the trend chart, opposite color candle, opposite color candle, SIM dots call it, SIM dots call it. When you get up within two ticks of these SIM dots, you can use market delta, which I'll show you in a second, that shows the sell or buy imbalance between the bid and the ask to confirm the market's going to go down. The next trade we have is a momentum trade. What if the bars never turn green on the trend chart? What if we never turn green? What if counter trend traders are not going to pop in the market to an extent to pu pull the market back on a deep retracement? What happens if that happens? If that happens, then we have what's called a momentum trade. That's when my chart next to my SIM dots chart comes in. This is my FIB chart. My Fibonacci chart will, will tell you when to get short because it's going to tell you when the trend chart comes up and touches my small MA intra-bar. So what happens is this. A momentum chart, a momentum trade, look at my trend chart. When you get space in between, when you get space in here, in between these MAs, I mean the small MA, when the body of the candle open versus close is the easiest way to tell you, tell you when you got a momentum trade. Momentum trades can be fast and furious. There's some days where it just cranks 50, 100, 150 ticks after an entry. Really, really dynamic. Right here, when you get open versus close that don't even touch my trend chart. See, there's space. Look at that space, open versus close. Here, look at it. You always pretty much know when you got a momentum trade coming up. Because look at the space between here. Look at the space between the MA and the open versus close. Look how far spread apart that is. I pretty much know when I got a momentum trade coming up on any given market on any given time. Because I know, look at that space in between it. Look at that white space. That space is a lot wider than this space. A lot wider than this space. This MA is actually, uh, open versus close is actually touching the MA. It widens there. See how it's touching it? Gets away, separation, huge separation. Then you get a retracement, small retracement. Enter bar when that bar hits, that small MA. You look for what? You look for a Fib Arrow over here. A Fib Arrow fired right at the high. And we got that trade short. You want to look for Fib and, uh, momentum trades on this smaller Renko bar chart with these Fib trades, these Fib arrows, when you touch the small MA. So that tells you what a momentum trade is versus a retracement trade. A retracement trade is simply opposite color bars against trend. Counter trend traders come in, which are wrongly positioned traders. We look for the SIM dots to fire us in the trade. Consequently, we have another trade called momentum trade. That is where the market's way too weak. There's some days with crude oil inventory coming out today at 1030. You're going to get bars. It's just red, 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 green, 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 green. The market's just blowing off. Yesterday, had some beautiful trades in crude on momentum trades. Beautiful trades. NASDAQ, same way, beautiful trades. Came up and touched a small MA. Fib arrows fired on the small 3 sim. We cranked up, uh, up and down on both of them. So that's how we look at it. We look at the trend chart to help us out. That's going to that's gonna help us decide if we're in a net buy or net sell. Okay?